Yeah, I, I I think you could you could probably argue that it's actually I don't know I I find that the Graphene OS is more simple to me. Just you know the iPhones have gotten to the point where it's got a lot of fun features like syncing, iCloud, AirDrop, all these things that are kind of fun and cool, and you can have devices all over your house ringing when somebody you know calls you on the phone. But uh, but these are also access points for people to. track you and access you, you know, get, you know, get into your iCloud, for example, and be able to use a lot of these features against you. And so, you know, the, the iPhones, yeah, they're, they're simple to like to, to do all these fun things, but, uh, unless you have all the features set up properly, it just, uh, it seems like it's, it's leaving some holes in people's security and privacy. Yeah. Uh, Um, so that's it. That I think that's good on the Graphene OS, and I know that Mark Thirty Seven does much more. One of the other products, just to highlight, would be um, your Linux-based laptop. I think people uh, would be interested in that. Yeah, so most people, when they think of Linux, most people have heard of Linux. Uh, what they don't realize is that like 80% of enterprise servers that run all the big companies run on Linux. And it's specifically because the systems engineers, the network engineers, the software engineers, they want full control of the servers that control their data. <laughs> they don't want to outsource that to a third party operating system. They want full control. So Linux gives you, as the user, full control of the system. And over the last four or five years, 